Hello students. Hello sir. Today I am going to tell you one story. The name of the story is The Shoemaker and Elus. What is the name of the story? The Shoemaker and Elus. Elus. The Shoemaker and Elus. The Shoemaker and Elus. Okay. Elus. Elus it is a plural of ilf. What is ilf? E L F. What is ilf? Ilf it is a supernatural creature. Supernatural creature. That is ilf and plural is elus. Okay. Do you know the meaning of shoemaker? What is the meaning of shoemaker in Marathi? A person who makes shoe. Please stand up. Part. Yes, very good. Let us give a big hand for Part. So, shoemaker is a person who prepares shoes. In Marathi, we call him as Sambar. Okay. He mends shoes or he prepares shoes. So the name of the story is Shoemaker and the Elves. Elves. So once there was one shoemaker. Once there was one shoemaker, and he used to prepare shoes. One day he brought some leather from the market. He brought some leather from the market, and it was evening. He cut the leather. Leather. And he cut the leather to prepare one pair of shoes. Okay, he cut the leather so that he can prepare one pair of shoes. And as if it was very late, he went to bed. He went to bed. Tomorrow in the morning, he got up from his sleep and he went to that place. And what did he find? That shoes are ready. The shoes are ready he was surprised and the shoes are very nice beautiful stitches beautiful stitches were there and shoes they are very nice so he took the shoes he went to the market and sold the pair of shoes he got good money and he purchased more leather he came to his home again in the evening he cut the leather so that he can prepare two pairs of shoes and he went to bed tomorrow in the morning again shoes were ready shoes were Ready? He was surprised. Who is coming? Who is coming and who is preparing shoes? Who is stitching shoes? And the shoes were very fine, beautiful, and the st stitches were very very fine. He was surprised. Again, he bought some leather and he cut the leather to so that he can prepare four pairs of shoes. And he spoke with spoke with his wife. Who is coming in the evening? Who is coming in the evening and who is preparing shoes? Who is stitching shoes? So his wife says, "See, we will, we will hid ourselves behind the door, behind the door." And it was twelve in the evening. It was twelve in the evening, twelve in the at midnight. And he put the leather on one table, and he he along along with his wife hid behind the door, hid behind the Door. At twelve in the night, there came two elves. There came two elves, small creatures. There came two small creatures from the window, and these small elves they stitched the shoes. They prepared the shoes within no time. They prepared the shoes within no time. So the husband and wife, shoemaker and his wife, they observed everything, and wife of shoemaker spoke with. shoemaker oh husband see these elves they do not have good clothes they do not have, have good clothes and they, they do not have shoes so what you do i will prepare clothes for these elves and you prepare tiny shoes for these two elves and the shoemaker he was ready shoemaker was ready and he prepared two pairs of shoes for these two elves and the his wife prepared beautiful clothes and they put these clothes and pairs of shoes on the table and next evening both of them hid behind the door hid behind the door at 12 in the night again these two elves came in the house from the window and they saw beautiful dresses and beautiful shoes on the table so both of them wore these dresses and both of them put on the they wore shoes and they put on the dresses and they were so happy they started singing and dancing 
both the elves started singing and dancing by having these beautiful dresses and having these tiny shoes they they danced they sang and after some time they went out of the window and they never came back they never came back but the wealth the wealth richness which that shoemaker got from the arrival of these elves it continued for, for a long time so that is the story that is the story i think you have understood a uh, little bit of the story it is little little bit difficult difficult that's why uh, i will try to ask you some questions and you try to answer my questions students please don't just give a back big hand for the man the shoe maker and elves is the name of the story tell me one day in the evening what did the shoe maker cut what did the shoe maker cut par he cut the leather so he cut the leg he cut the leather to make how many pairs of shoes yes one pair of shoes very good let us give a big hand for uh, shruti let us give a big hand so he cut the leather so that he could prepare one pair of shoes shoes when he got up in the morning when he got up in the morning what did he see on the table when he got up in the morning what did he see on the table yes pa the shoes are ready let us give a big hand for pa one pair of shoes is ready one pair of shoes is ready where did the shoe maker take that pair of shoes where did where did he take that pair of shoes shraddha where did he take where did the shoe maker take these shoes yes very good let us give a big hand for shraddha he took that pair of shoes in the market what did he get what did he get by selling the shoes he got money and what did he purchase after getting the money what did he purchase please stand up yes leather and he came with the leather and how for for how many how many pairs of shoes did he want to prepare with the leather which he purchased from the market two pairs of leather two pairs of shoes please stand up two pairs of shoes and again again see this this uh, for two days this thing happened and when the shoe maker and his wife when the shoe maker and his wife they hid behind the door what did they find what did they find yes can you tell gitanjali no no yes ha ah, yes the shoe maker and his wife they found that elves are coming from the window and what suggestion did the wife give to the shoe maker no no yes please stand up yes the wife suggested the shoe maker that they will prepare dresses and shoes for the elves and next next day when these elves came from the window what did they see on the table what did they see on the table we had two tiny shoes and clothes yes let us give a big hand for pal so there were two tiny pairs of shoes and clothes and when they wore when they put on and wore all these things clothes and uh, tiny pairs of shoes how how was their reaction yes they danced and sang they danced and sang so that is the story thank you very much now i will ask some words i will ask some words for these small children okay words you have to tell me the spelling of the words students from first to third standard okay or first to fourth standard tell me the spelling of shoe maker shoe maker who will spelling of shoe maker yes par Okay, very good. Let us give big, big hand for Park. Let us give big hand. Ilf, what is the spelling of Ilf? Ilf, Ilf. Yes, E L F. Nice, E L F. Ilf. Ilf is supernatural creature. 
Anybody can tell now. What plural of elf? What is the plural of elf? What is the plural of elf? Elves. What is it spelling? E L E V E S. E L E. So E L V E S. Elves. E L V E S. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.